all right guys so welcome back to the channel um, we've been working a little bit back here I'm gonna take you over and show you what we've been doing on the car we're trying to get the plumbing done for the uh, rear mount radiator we're getting ready to cut the trunk out of it for that and up here on the front we've just came I'll show you we had our wiring ran up in this same pack to the front for our fans and for our electric water pump so we have worked that back up I had to pull it back pull it out of this harness I'll have to repack all that up through here which is hard to see uh, we came up through there fished it back through the firewall down there over around and inside of the car uh, down back down in here Ooh. all right so we fished everything through got all the wires from for all that stuff uh, back down here you can see where before we had moved our computer over here and mounted that into the kick panel area um, wires basically gonna fish those back down through the rockers uh, these little rocker plate covers or whatever you want to call them uh, fish them back down through that and then back uh, probably just behind these panels up and over and then you can see we're gonna have our radiator back here in the back okay so that's the plan for the wiring to get it back here uh, the first next thing we're about to do now is we're gonna go ahead and cut the bottom out of this t-top well uh, so that our radiator will drop down some more I'd really like to get it where it's flat across here at least uh, so I measured it we got to drop the radiator close to four inches uh, to make that work and, and you know we can do that on a combination of tilting it back more right now it's held up you know if you can see these little studs down here um, those things are catching it so it won't let it lay back more uh, but we'll probably lay it back some more and then we will also you know drop it down a little bit more too I'm hoping I'll be able to keep the center exit exhaust down there which I really I really like on this car um, I've debated about getting rid of it anyway you know as we're moving more towards just a track setup but for right now still like to keep some street function to it so I'd like to be to keep it for at least a moment um, so anyway that's what we're gonna do now I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys up here and we'll get the bottom of this thing cut off So we made a hole, time to throw the radiator back in and see what we're working with down to the exhaust pipes. Okay, it's not terrible. Still want to get it lower than that if we can. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to have to do is just come back and run, like change the tailpipes to come out on either side like they would normally be instead of center exit. And then that will allow this to drop down in between the two sections of pipe and we should be in good shape there so uh, I guess that's gonna be the next thing seems like this will fit down between where we need it I'm gonna try to trim some more up off of each side of this too though I just know real need to leave the excess in it so and we kind of see what I'm working with like the radiator will pass where I have it cut now and um, I don't think that would be a problem but I mean at this point we're just doing extra shrouding and carrying weight that we don't need to so I'm gonna go lay up underneath and cut up to where we can go here and uh, we'll come back and cut some more off okay so after looking at it our frame rails start basically in here somewhere um, I see we got something riveted right here I think it's just the two pieces of the sheet metal together or not riveted but spot welded together um, I'll probably just come uh, right up to the top edge of that or I might even leave this radius piece just to give it a little more strength in that area 
I know back here I can't go but so far because I have my straps for my gas tank come down to like right there so I need to leave a good bit on the back portion so anyway yeah we gotta figure that out all right here we go Alright guys, so I got the radiator getting closer to where I want it to be. I still haven't moved the exhaust underneath yet. Kind of using that to hold the radiator up right now at the moment. Um, I still need to move, remove a little bit from this side of the bottom. I can't go but so high because I have my stock fuel tank still in here. Trying to do it with that instead of running a fuel cell. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but trying to keep that, I have, um, I, can't, I have a limited amount of room I can go up as far as cutting off on that front side of the well so it would probably be better if I had a fuel cell at this point um, so we wouldn't have to worry about that part but that's where we're at with it for right now um, I think it get a little more airflow that way also so we'll have to maybe have to address that in the future at some point we're gonna go to a fuel cell anyway so not the end of the world if we have to um, but for right now, this is getting pretty close. I'd like it to drop down just a little bit more. I want it to be angled back like this so the fans are pulling through. Like the air will come up and into this side, the fans will be pulling through and blowing, you know, kind of down out of the back of the car is the idea. Um, yeah, and I, I don't know if you saw it. I got this uh, one support bar from the... Uh, RSM front end I put on this thing, the two front, and the kind, the idea is to use something similar to this. It's going to have to be wider. I'm going to have to make one wider, and it'll come under from underneath the car, and it'll saddle down underneath the radiator, kind of where the uh, exhaust pipes are holding it up right now. <clears throat> I'll have those to the outsides of it, and then I'll have the saddle a hair lower than what it is now. So then I'm hoping what I can do is actually come back and drop this will drop down some more I can lay it a little bit more flat is what I'm hoping and I can take and make like a expansion tank up here um, you know in this area and then that'll be higher than the top of the radiator It'll be the highest point in the system and then I'm hoping I can still fit that underneath a flat piece of sheet metal coming back you know across the top of here I have to figure out maybe weld some tabs on 
to the back of the car so that we can actually I want to make it where it's removable in case I need to service this thing it'll be a lot easier but it'll be like a you know firewall back here in the back we'll have it pretty well sealed um, at least good enough where it won't be spraying any kind of fluids into the car so anyway that's where we're at that's what we're that's what we got going on um, I'm gonna keep plugging away see if I can get any more done on it hopefully um, I like to at least try to get it mounted. I might end up having to go with a little bit smaller radiator. I was trying to get away with using the factory radiator, uh, but it, I mean it's pretty big back here. Uh, you know, as far as height-wise, width-wise, it's fine. But I'd like something a little bit shorter, honestly, because I, I kind of like the angle it's at. But I'd like it to be a little further down. Anyway, I'm gonna play around with it, guys. All right, guys, I really hope you're enjoying the video. Just want to take a second to invite you over to Yurkut Racing Spread Shop, where you can find all sorts of merchandise. You name it, it's probably in there. So go over, find you something you like, take a picture of it in action, and send it over to us at Yurkut underscore offroad at yahoo.com. I think it'd be a really cool thing if we could include some of these pictures at the end of our videos and share it with the rest of the community. Every order you place on this site is greatly appreciated, and it really goes a long ways to make sure that we're able to continue to bring you the content just like this. guys so I got the back mostly cut out I still got a little bit more to cut from the bottom over here on this side I'm um, just kind of trying to sneak up on it and whatnot but anyway that's where we're at with that I got to wait on a uh, the bar that I showed you to go underneath or the tube to go underneath as the cradle for the radiator I got to get that bent um, so anyway I'll have to put this on hold back here for a minute take you up here to the front show you what we got going on next uh, so we got this inch and a quarter aluminum tube here and it's hard to see you probably won't be able to but down there um, we're gonna go past the header and then up in here in order to do that I'm gonna have to have a way to bend this which I do not have currently um, so the plan is we're gonna do pie cuts on this piece of on, on the tube and to be able to make our bins and turn it and everything where we need it so that's what we're going to do now i'm gonna get the bandsaw set up over there and we'll get to cutting some pie cuts on it and then we will go underneath and kind of tack everything up where we need it and uh yeah so that's the plan thanks for riding along with us on this video guys really appreciate it hopefully you enjoyed it we're going to be back again really soon on this camaro build with the rear mount radiator set up like i said we're just waiting on a couple more parts and pieces to come in so we can do that in the meantime hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it i'm going to post a link up here to the video where we made the block adapters for the front of the engine um, go over check it out let us know what you think if you got any questions drop them in the comments we'll catch you guys on the next one thanks and god bless